Hello friends, I'm Meghna Thomas and welcome back to our channel Golden Implants Aviation Pilot Training Academy, your route to the cockpit. Today's video will be a continuation of my previous videos. We have been doing sample questions for the written exam of your Carrot Pilot Program examination. We are doing the sample questions for maths written exams and we have already covered the topics profit and loss, ages and clocks. In my video today, we are going to be seeing two more topics that are generally asked for your written exam in your Carrot pilot program examination and they are percentages and calendar well before I begin let me just tell you the intention of these videos are just to be giving you a sample of what are the kind of questions that can be expected in your written examination for your candidate pilot program exam however these are not the questions that are asked well if they are asked you'll be very lucky if not the topics are really vast there are many sample questions and if you wish to join any of the classes or you want to prepare for the cadet pilot program examination you are always welcome to golden applets aviation we have the best instructors here who will teach you and prepare you thoroughly for your cadet pilot program written exam so without any further delay let's get started so let's begin with the first question of percentages the question says a salary is 50 percent more than b by what percentage is B's salary lesser than A? So uh, let me just show you something that I learned recently. So in this column, as you can see, I've written 1 by 1 is 100%, 1 by 2 is 50%, 1 by 3 is 33.33%, 1 by 4 25%, likewise till 1 by 10. So 1 by 10 is basically 10%. So if it is possible for you to memorize this 1 by 1 till 1 by 10, this kind of makes your life easy because what happens in, in certain question, uh, for example, you will get your answer as a fraction. Uh, the answer that you would be uh, need to be giving would be in the percentage. So instead of you sitting and solving this to get your percentage, you would already know that 1 by 5 is 20%. Likewise, if you get your answer in fraction as 1 by 6 and you've been asked for the percentage, you would get the percentage at 66.66%. So you do not need to go further solving it. It just makes your life easy. So it will be better if you could just memorize from 1 by 1 to 1 by 10, pretty easy, there's nothing so complicated, you could just do it. So let me get back to the solution of this question, let me work it out to you for here. So now as the question says, A's salary is 50% more than B's. Now if anybody's salary is more than anybody, that's how you write it, A's salary is, since it says 50% more, this 1 is here by default, it's 1 plus, how much more is 50%, I just write it into a fraction more than b salary so basically this is a salary which is 50 percent more than b salary coming to solve this it becomes a is equal to uh, 150 upon 100 b or a is equal to 15 by 10 b now just let's cross multiply so we will get the value of b b is equal to Take the 10 over here and the 15 goes down so that will be 10 a by 15 so this is the value of b now by what percentage is b salary lesser than a so now what you do here is like how much more was a salary was one plus now when they say how much lesser is b salary you do the opposite you do 1 minus 10 by 15 because this was B salary 10 by 15 so we'll just take this as 1 minus 10 by 15 which is equal to 15 minus 10 upon 15 which will be giving you 15 minus 10 is 5 by 15 and you solve this you will get 1 by 3 now you wanted to find that in percentage by what percentage so this is where this table will come handy 1 by 3 is how many percent much how much percentage 1 by 3 is 33.33 percentage so if you would have already memorized it you could just easily write it over here it is 33.33 percentage and this is your answer coming to the next question from the topic calendar the question is what was the day of the week on 5th february 2016 before we start doing this I want to show you a little something that I'd learned. Here I have written the days of the week, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday till Saturday and I have numbered it from 0 to 6 that is starting Sunday 0, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Saturday at 6. So Sunday to Saturday you gotta number them from 0 to 6. Now again 
these are the months january february march until december so here these are the numbers 033614625 and 035 if you can remember them like this well and good if not there is another something that i had learned the first three numbers and the last three numbers just basically couple up three three numbers together this number and this number is in the same category 033035 and these two 614 and 625 are the middle numbers so kind of easier to remember just write down the months and then the first three numbers and the last three number the middle three and the next uh, three again for the years uh, 1600 to 1699 is written as 6 1700 to 1799 basically any year that comes in between this so if it is 1600 to 1699 it could be you could even be asked the year 1635 so whichever the year is if it falls in between 1600 to 1699 that year will be numbered as 6 so on for the others 4 2 0 and 6 so 2000 to 2099 is 6 again to remember this these are all uh, minus 2 6 minus 2 is 4 4 minus 2 is 2 2 minus 2 is 0 and then you again come back to 6 that way begins from So this is little something that you could remember for an easy uh, calculation of the calendar um, date. Now let's see how to solve this. So there are five steps to do this question. First, first is last two digit of the year. So the year given to us is 2016. The last two digits are one and six. You will write down over here. Divide the number by four. So you got to divide 16 by four. So well, four fours are sixteen. Any which ways, I'm going to do it for you here, and that is zero. But what you take over here is you will take the quotient, and you will write down four over here for a better understanding. A zero and four. Now, next is the date given. So the date is fifth February. You write down that as zero five. Now the number of the month. As you can see, the month given is February. Let me scroll down to the uh, chart that we had made. February here is number three. Let us write three over here. And now you need to write the number of the year. Now the year given was two thousand sixteen. So let us check where does two thousand sixteen fall. It comes in between this, so it is number six. You will be writing zero six. Now what you have to do is you need to add these numbers. So when you add this, you're gonna get a total of thirty one. Next step, you will divide this number by seven because you need to find out what was the day. You're going to find the day of the week. There are seven days in a week, so you're going to divide thirty-one by seven. So let us do the division over here. Seven and thirty-one. Seven fours are twenty-eight. Twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, three. So you will take the remainder. Remainder is three. Let us see what is three over the days. It is Wednesday. So, fifth February two thousand sixteen was a Wednesday. I hope you've understood the solution. Pretty simple. All you have to do is just make a note of this table. and it can be done easily so friends that will be all for today we have covered two topics percentage and calendar i hope you find our videos useful please stay tuned to our channel golden applets aviation for more such updates and videos in the next video i will be again covering more topics from the written examination for maths so be with us and do not miss any of our updates what are you waiting for come let's fly